Hello everyone, and welcome to my experiment. Today, I'm going to be making a lemon battery and then attempt to create a fire using this battery. For the lemon battery, I'm going to use six copper clips, six zinc nails, two rubberized wires, some metal wire, and a fresh lemon. Any other materials made out of copper and zinc, like a coin, is fine. For the rubberized wire, make sure the rubber on each ends are stripped off. I'm also going to use some steel wool to help create the fire. First, I'm going to roll the lemon on the table to make it soft and juicy. Next, I'm going to take the copper clips and push them inside the lemon in a straight line with even spacing in between about a centimeter apart. do the same thing with the zinc nails, placing them parallel to the copper clips, but also making sure that they don't touch the copper clips or each other. first copper clip and attach it to the second zinc nail and repeat this diagonal pattern with the rest of the copper clips and zinc nails. So the lemon should look something like this. Now the lemon battery is ready. A battery consists of two electrodes, one cathode and one anode, and an electrolyte. For this lemon battery, the copper clip is the cathode and is positively charged, the zinc nail is the anode and is negatively charged, and the lemon juice is the electrolyte. When the zinc nail reacts with the lemon juice, the lemon juice oxidizes the zinc by removing electrons from the zinc. The resulting positively charged zinc ions move into the lemon juice while the resulting electrons move across the metal wire and into the copper clip. When the copper clip reacts with the lemon juice, the copper clip is reduced by combining the resulting electrons with the hydrogen ions from the lemon juice. The result is hydrogen gas, so if we were to open up the lemon, we should see little gases forming on the copper clip. This flow of electrons is what generates electricity. Now, I'm going to wrap one of the rubberized wire around the copper clip and the other one around the zinc nail. So, it should look something like this. Now, let's go make some fire! Now I'm going to place some steel wool in a fire pit and use some toilet paper as timber and place them on top of the steel wool and take the two wires and connect to the steel wool. This should create a short circuit and make the steel wool glow red hot. So let's see if we can make some fire. Unfortunately, I was not able to make any fire. I used a voltage meter to gauge my lemon battery and it showed that my lemon battery was only about 0.485 volts, which is too weak to make the steel wool glow red hot or create any spark. 